guys just bidding on the Audi S3 as you can see it's at £2,800 and normally they go for around £7,000-£8,000 HPI clear we made the bid we kept bidding against another person this time round we won the bid at £3,040 before fees and so the car was located up north so we hit the motorway the following day it was about two, 2 hours and 30 minutes we bidded on an online auction unseen so we don't even know if the car like it's mechanically it's sound so hopefully this is what we're going to show you It's gone to 5.49, still in traffic, and I don't think we're gonna make it on time. I don't think we're gonna be able to collect the car. It would be an absolute miracle if we was to make it. We turned the engine off. After one hour later, two, three, yeah, what? It's 30. Okay, we are back on the road. Take two, it's so nice and dry now. Not no crazy rain like last night. And there's no traffic, roads are empty. Let's go. Let's go straight to the S3. <laughs> what is that? We're on the motorway. On the motorway. We are taking the diesel Audi. One piece of advice, if you're gonna get fuel, don't get it on the motorway because it's so expensive. That is mental, that is. 35 pound for 17. Thank you mate, cheers, take care. All right, we made it. S3 should be coming out soon. Oh my God, there's so many cars here. The S3 is somewhere in there. Oh wow. Here it is. Sorry about Oh right, this is crazy. I'm gonna drive the car back. But the car starts, that's the most important thing. Let's turn it off. How'd you turn it off? There we go. Oh my god, S3! Oh my god, am I so excited right now? I got all the paperwork for it. And oh yes, the, lo the V5 logbook. Do I have to apply for that? Ah, oh, sick. I'm gonna read that when we get back, but oh, am I so impressed with this? Oh my god, the service book. Oh my god, the clutch is so good. I'm happy right now. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> S3. All right, first thing we gotta do is get petrol for this bad boy, and then we'll be on the road. So it's got 100 miles left to quarter our tank. We'll fill up about 20 pounds, see if that will do the job. Of course, we're gonna go V power. Alright, so let's shoot off onto them back on the motorway now. Wow, full half a tank, 25 quid, 150 mile range. Hopefully that does the job. I don't know whether I'm too excited to give it or not. This mirror is a bit broken as you can see. That was part of the accident. They didn't say the mirror is damaged. And um, there's also a crack windscreen over there. They, they did not mention that in the auction. You know, as long as the car is driving, that's the most important factor. And it's a 2007 model. This is 265 brake plus power quattro. The Bose sound system, leather interior, six speed box. Boom, let's go. 70, 80. Doesn't need an alignment, which is good news. Mechanically, the car is sound. Hold on, Sunny J. Bit of an update so far, we are probably halfway to go to the HQ. Like half a tank right now. I think we do like Alhamdulillah. Praise be to the Almighty. They're constantly, you know, counting those blessings. So if we constantly look at the bad, that's all the that's all that's gonna happen. But when you constantly like be happy with the bad and the good, that's when you be content. Just constantly be positive and just 
Let's be thankful with what we've got and just count those blessings. You want to check this right out right now. Whoa! Bentley! understand why people say and hype up the S3 like it's the top car. I understand now. Wow. I no doubt about it, this car does fly. For a stock S3 as well. Oh, where the wheel gone? Hold on. Nice little pull down the B roads, ready, first gear. Let's go. Boom. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> this is definitely zoomed 16 5 seconds. Oh. Look at that. Whoa! Oh yeah, that is fast. I really want to race a Type R with this because I don't know, like, I really don't know. I feel like this has to be quicker because it's 16 5 seconds, the 265 brake, that's a nice gallon, that is wow. Wait, oh, a nice Cooper, oh yeah, wow. B road bash. Bang, bang, oh bang, it climbs up the revs pretty fast. It can be a B road monster, this can, it honestly feels really quick. Look at that, third gear event match. It just grips. Boom. This road, honestly, when I drove the Civic down this road, I'm feeling every single bump. I'm bouncing in the air all over the place. But with this, I feel really comfortable and confident. Let's keep it rolling. Bang. We're on redlining now. We're just, it's more about controlling the car. Sounds good, sounds really good. I thought I'd expect to hear a lot of engine sound, but the exhaust is doing bits for a stock S3. Hey, oh, oh. 
we do feel like we bought the right S3. Boom. That beautiful. And you feel very comfortable and very quiet in this car. It's very, very soundproof. One thing I'd like to say is that this car doesn't really scare you. It's like, if anything, it gives you too much confidence. And I feel like with the Type R and like the cars that I drive like regularly, it doesn't give you the same feeling. But with this, you just feel so safe. It's unbelievable. Just parked up now, let's let the car keep running, but wow, am I amazed by this car. But if you guys want to see more POVs of this car. So basically the damage on this car, I just wanted to explain to you guys, because uh, I didn't get a chance to explain it on a salvage site. So basically the damage is right here. This is what made the car um, become a write-off from the insurance company. So I'm guessing, this part's inside the car, but it just come off. All this, you can see all the way, all the way. And a bit on the front wing as well so we've got scratches in the front driver side wing driver side door and the rear quarter panel and that's it so it's not that bad there's no structural damage there ain't no any metal damage i mean the door opens and closed perfectly fine you can't see no sort of damage here so yeah so it's not that bad it's honestly paintwork damage so that is something that we'll try and repair We'll try and sand it down and get the spray gun and make an attempt to spray this car. Um, apart from that, it doesn't. I'm not sure whether it does need a new mirror. Oh, see this cover, it can be salvageable, I'm guessing. Don't want this to come off, to be honest. So we just need a mirror for this, and this could be salvageable. Uh, and there's a new front windscreen on the car as well, which, which is right here. You can see the crack right there. So they never said this in the auction site, they didn't talk about the windscreen or the mirror and uh, they gave this car, they just blasted it with water and when you wash a car with water and you take pictures the car always looks so much better on cars that have a lot of defects but there are a lot of defects around the car like scratches across there this car is going to need a full detail um, Tyres are pretty decent, I do love the tyres it's literally brand new tyres um, It's also got brand new front discs and pads I don't know if you guys can see that so that, that's a plus side literally it's brand new loads of tread on there um, all the headlights work um, all the wipers work there's nothing else that needs to be done to this car just pop the bonnet interior is pretty nice I didn't mention that as well it's below 100k so it's, it's about 90,000 it's pretty pretty mint as you can tell from the seats, there's less wear and tear in the steering wheel and the, the gear lever. It's gonna, but it's really mint inside. I really do think this is a really good buy of an S3, uh, and it cost us. The price is three thousand four hundred pounds, all fee, everything. Um, and we drove the car back, so we saved on recovery prices. But yeah, three thousand four hundred pounds can get you something like this from the auction site. Um, but that's a, that's a good buy or whether they sell for that normally I'm not too sure but it's the first S3 we bought there we go 
looking really dirty does need a bit of a bit a bit of a clean here to be honest um someone's overfilled the coolant doesn't sound too bad I'm guessing that's how they normally sound the most important thing is the car is stuck and it's not being messed around there's not any deletes or anything like that so that's exactly where we, if you do want to keep this car that's where we got to work off uh, also an engine management light it's only happened after we drove it quite hard everywhere then the engine management light come on I'm not sure what that is maybe you guys could drop a comment down below um, diagnostics to do a check and that might tell us what it is maybe in the next video we can start working on the paintwork but at the moment beautiful car if you enjoyed the video drop, drop a comment down below we want people to to um see that people that always want to get an, an audi s3 or an any uh, honda Civic type r they cost too much they are going up in price and if you can't afford it you can pick one of these up for about three four grand no, two, you can get it for less than less than three grand if, the, if, if there was a lot more damage but this one is minimal damage that's exactly what we wanted and uh, you know that's what I'm, I want people to believe that it is achievable it is possible to get the dream car at a really low price if it's damaged and until next time peace may the almighty bless each and every one of you see you in the next video peace